So you mentioned, um, you know, the, the market and the industry just controlling what we buy. How do you, what advice could you give sneakerheads? Like, you know, how do we fight the hype? I mean, I personally, I buy what I like, but I know a lot of people kind of just, oh, these are coming out. I got to get these. These are coming out. I got to oh, get man. these. Oh, man. You, I'm, I'm just noticing, like, sometimes coming in the store, a lot of people come in and they just see the sneakers. They don't see anything else. A lot of stuff going on in here. It's a small space, but a lot of people don't even take into what's taking place in here. They see sneakers, no, you know, I'm my size, I'm out. I'm like, what? Like, I did this for you. <laughs> like, I did all this for you, like, and, you, and you don't even recognize it. But again, there's appreciation that takes place with other people, of course. Um, advice that I would give um, to sneakerheads. Um, wear what you want. You know, keep them clean. You know what it is? Go to your local sneaker shop. See what's on the shelves. Because that's what it used to be. And it wasn't, there were no blogs. There was no internet at one point in time. You go mm -hmm. to the shop, you see what you like, and you get them. Now it's like it's being fed to you. This is what's coming out. It's very limited. It costs this amount. And you better get online now. And if you don't get online now, you're, not, you're never going to get them. It's BS. But yeah, but then you <laughs> have to think about it. It's only so much we can do because... There's a shoe, like the hairs. This is my first time getting mm. them. I always wanted them. So once I found out they were coming out, I had to be on top of it in order for me mm. to get them. That's a different story, though. That's a different situation because it comes from not having them previously when they first came out. Whereas you have people who um, weren't even born when they first came out and basically are just being fed information on sneakers that they need to buy and match clothing with it. So you gotta, you gotta think about it. There's a whole lot of variables taking place here. You've got clothing companies who are making sneakers to match, making shirts and hats to match sneakers, mm -hmm. which is not a bad thing, but it's just something I, I just don't, you wear what you want regardless. And if you can make it fly, you make it fly. That's it. Other than that, Stick to stick to stick to stick to the basics. That's what that's what I think. Is to stick to the basics because things are getting complicated. These sneakers are looking nuts, and you can't match everything with these sneakers. <laughs> you just true. can't. That's these true. funky colors. It's like what you wearing that and that. Like that's not that's none of my business. What the Kermit would say, whatever. But. I remember Just Dawn and Kanye saying that they were responsible for retros being retro. Really? Yeah. Do you That's agree? Just, no. <laughs> That's just me repeating what I hear. Shout out okay. to Dawn. No, I'm a Dawn C fanatic. Hats is dope. Everything is dope. But that shit was a comical comment to me. Every damn shoe that I wanted when I was growing up that my parents wouldn't buy me, that's what I wanted. I wanted a Bronco. I bought a 1973 Bronco convertible. 